Monday is a hard day. Uh, and why is it a hard day? I'll tell you a bit later. Um, just the first thing I wanted to share is that I no longer feel tired anymore after even like 12 hours of working in front of the computer. Um, I don't know why, maybe I just, I just got used to this rhythm of working every day for such a long period of time sitting in front of the computer and thinking, trying to, trying to resolve some problems, to write the code, I don't know. And yeah, when I come back home, just I know that after nine my brain doesn't work, so I s always say to myself, yes, Anna, you have to log out and go home because your brain needs to, needs to recover to understand other concepts, other things tomorrow that's what i do uh but for example like i came back home i don't feel tired i don't feel asleep just i'm used to go to bed like at midnight and wake up at 7 a.m in the morning more or less ah yeah and i forgot to say to tell you it's like it's the 15th day of the piscine at the 42 school yeah <laughs> supposed to say that at the beginning of the video but I don't care anyway and why Monday is a hard day um, just I my plan for today was to submit the C03 C03 project and finish C04 project that's why I spent some time to gain some points by evaluating someone else um, I submitted the C03 project but and no one just I had two evaluations as usual by my peers and no one saw the problems in my code and the other thing is that like all of the exercises in the C03 they're best they are based on um, reproducing the function that already exists in the library so basically you could uh, write the code that check the checks if your function works properly like you do the main you make you create the main then you check how it works with the real function uh, that exists in the library by adding include uh, string lib string point h i think yeah and then um you check how it works then you put in the code your own function in checks and check if it works the same as the real function and basically all of my functions they they worked the way it the way the real function work the, the the way the real function works and i still have no idea what's wrong with my code i saw the i asked to show other guys me their code for the first exercise where i had the mistake yeah because like the automatic um, correction mulinet they it didn't pass by it uh, and I don't know why so that's the first thing for tomorrow to understand what's wrong in my f in my function in my code maybe ask someone to help me to just check and to explain to me why it doesn't work then to resubmit it it's cool that I did the evaluations today so I don't need to do it tomorrow uh, then pass the C03 I almost finished C04 basically I could pa I could submit it as well and gain 70% but I need to do the not it it's not the last exercise it's the exercise before the last exercise uh, which is uh, yeah if you're interested yeah, I think you it's interesting to tell you what's uh, what is in the in this exercise uh, basically you it's your task is to convert any type of number uh, that exists in in the in the integer uh, to the base of decimal, hexadecimal, octal, and some other base bases. Um, and your your program just you give the string. And then you give the base that you want to sh this string to be shown in this base, and the program gives you the output. That's it. It's 
kind of complicated thing. I almost understood how it works, but my code that I created doesn't work. So that's also the task number two for tomorrow. And and I hope that I'm gonna solve this problem by by lunch and also submit the project C04. So I'm gonna be more advanced in my level, in my over, on my overall progress as well. And as well, I just wanna finish, do all of the exercise from the project C05 and just keep on going because I feel like I'm kind of a bit Mm, not progressing at all but I understand at the same time that I need time to understand the concepts and it's not like this just doing the asking someone for help to uh, give you the right answer and just don't understand how it goes so the good thing the best thing is to do it by your own understand on your own how it works so I hope that I'm gonna finish C05 by tomorrow and then submit it the day after tomorrow. Well, but we'll see. I'll tell you tomorrow how it goes. But it's very frustrating that you just you submitted the project. I was sure that it was correct and then it didn't go, it didn't work well. And <coughs> I don't know, feel a bit of frustrated and desperate in that kind of case. But that's life that's how it goes and yeah you sh just should to move on to go on to continue doing your stuff and continue learning and that's it yeah thank you very much for watching this video um, I always hope that it's they are informative interesting for you and if you are not subscribed yet subscribe to my channel and share this video bunch of the videos of my experience with your friends Oh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, and as always, bisous. Bye, 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 bye.